Now to Protecting Paradise, our commitment to raising awareness of the environmental issues that affect your quality of life. Some call it the Disney World of Trash, and it's in our backyard. News Channel 5's Michael Williams joins us now with that story. Michael? Great, thank you. Garbage and Protecting Paradise, the two don't seem to go hand in hand at all, but in Palm Beach County, they do. And I got to look at what is considered one of the nation's leading waste to energy facilities. They call it the pit. And it has a bottomless appetite, gorging on all the garbage dumped in Palm Beach County each year, including vegetation. One and a half million tons worth. It's a state of the art facility. Bob Warble and Ray Shower oversee the Renewable Energy Park for the Solid Waste Authority. This plant, from every measure, is one of the cleanest, if not the cleanest, waste energy facility in the United States right now. How do they make that boast? Well, consider. Over 3,000 tons of waste per day. Technicians work the giant claws that dump the garbage into huge boilers. I'm standing now at the business end of those boilers where all of that garbage is dumped day in and day out. Take a peek. Inside, it is burning at some 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit. The heat is used to turn water to steam, which powers a turbine system and pumps out electricity to the local power grid, enough to power 70,000 homes a year. Quite frankly, we're known as the Disney World of Trash. Burned garbage, they tell us, becomes non-toxic ash taken to the nearby landfills. We reduce the volume of waste that comes into our landfill by 90%. Environmentalists complain about carbon dioxide and nitrogen pollutants from this plant, but engineers point to this room packed with state-of-the-art emissions controls. It's extremely clean. It could be compared to uh, gas-fired plants, uh, much cleaner than fossil fuel and coal plants. And Ray Shower argues this facility is helping to protect Paradise. Two reasons why, he says. Even the best managed landfills in the country stink. They have an odor. Reason number two, greenhouse gas reductions. Put garbage in a landfill, it generates methane. Methane is a, a greenhouse gas that's 28 times more powerful or destructive than any gas we emit from our facility. And with many landfills in the U.S. bursting at the seams, waste to energy plants may well be an even bigger piece of the future. That seven or $680 million facility opened in 2015, and they're just shy of 80 waste-to-energy plants in the United States, compared to nearly 500 across Europe. Our local facility hopes to be in the vanguard of a growing trend as we find new ways with shrinking space to protect the land around us. Jay? Fascinating insight, Michael. Thank